Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Ariam Dela Dela Trace, the market god, and you're welcome on your screens. Welcome on my screens, whichever it is, whatever it is. Welcome back to the channel. So, thank you so much for 2,000 plus subscribers. Really grateful, really appreciate it. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something very important, which is what the platform that I use to analyze the market. So most of you guys have been asking me in you know my DMs that what is trading view and then how do you use trading view and trading view is just the platform that i used to analyze my chart it has a lot of tools more than metatrader 4 which simply helps me to analyze my chart so that i can call out trades for you yes i'm talking about you so without further ado let's just dive right into it i'm going to teach you from logging in to signing up and then you know setting up your trading view to that pro level just like mine so that you'll be able to take trades and analyze trades on the market efficiently so the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to google and then type um, www.tradingview.com right so first of all because i have already um signed up into trading view i'm going to be logging out and then using a new account to sign up so as you guys can see i'm on the pro version so i'm going to be signing out just for the sake of you guys you guys know that i love you so much right <laughs> so i'm going to be signing out and then i'm going to be creating a new account so i'm going to click on join now right so when you click on um www.tradingview.com it leads you to um, this particular um, platform so you can sign in with um, google facebook apple whatever you want to use so let's just say you want to use google which is going to make it very easy for you guys so you're just going to click on google but um i think it's connected to mine already so let me just log out and then use an email again so i'm going to click on join now and i'm going to use email and then I'm going to be using one of my emails. So I'm going to be using market god um, one one at gmail.com. So this is my official email, my business email. So if you want to send me a message, make sure to send me a message through marketgod101 at gmail.com, right? And I'm going to enter the password, which of course I can't tell you guys. <laughs> I forgot my password, guys. <laughs> Let's just hope it works. And then you have to fill in some, you know, um, robots, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to choose a username and maybe my username could be market God, right? So you are saying that, um, what's, what's the issue over here? The username is already there. So maybe I'm just going to make it X A U S D legend. I just hope nobody has taken that because I'm the real legend guys. <laughs> So I'm going to choose the walkways again, the cross rocks. You just need to do all this very fine stuff. And then once you're in, guess what, guys? They say that your account is not active yet. Please verify your email. So I'm quickly going to verify my email and then get back to you guys. All right, guys, we are back and we are back. So it says that, hey, pay attention. You might be on your wrong account, blah, 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 blah. Um, just click on this. This is That's not going to happen, right? So now as you guys can see, um, I'm logged in into the new account. And as soon as you log in into the new account, this is what you're going to see. So now the chat is a bit messy. So I'm going to teach you guys how to actually structure it and then make it really good so that you, you can start your trading journey. So first of all, you're going to clear everything here. Just clear. Just look at this button here. You're going to clear everything everything here right so let's just clear everything right and then we are come to start working on the chart layout so first of all you are going to right click on the chart click on remove indicators so we are removing every indicator just just so if you're someone who uses indicators um you probably have to go and look up further but i don't use indicators so um, one thing we are going to do is we are going to make our charts really clear as possible right so you are going to click on settings and then we are going to go to symbols so now as you guys can see the symbols over here represent the candlesticks right so this candlesticks if you if we if we change the color this represents the bullish candles so for example area the i use the the blue candles to signify um price moving to the upside and i use black candles to signify price moving to the downside right so this represents the body of the candle right so we're going to do the same thing so blue and then here black right so as you guys can see and then you do the same thing for the wick blue and then here black right so as you guys can see already it's being changed 
um, and then you click on OK. As simple as it is, so as you guys can see. But let's just say that you don't really like the blue and black color. You just want to use your own color. You just come back to the settings. Maybe if you're a lady, I really don't say a lot of female traders. If you're a female trader, just say hi in the comment section. So let's say, um, as a lady, you want to use colors like this. Um, and then maybe something like this is very nice right and then just click on ok so now maybe if this is ok for you we are good to go and then one more thing we are going to remove all these scale lines over there so you are going to click on settings again and then we are come to come we are going to go to um the um appearance and then we are going to go to vertical grid lines and then we are just going to turn this to zero right the opacity all right and we are going to do the same thing for this one and turn it to zero that's an easy way to make this and then we're just going to click on okay so now once this is done our charts are clean and clear right now we are going to work on the word the watch list now the watch list is actually the number of pairs that you trade so if you have just like a, about 10 pairs or two pairs that you trade you're going to add them over here so now you're going to click on this plus sign over here right and when you click on this plus sign you can see that we have stocks we have futures we have forex we have crypto we have indices we have bonds and economy so because this channel is a forex channel we are going to be dealing with the forex pairs and the indices space because they are tradable on the forex market as well so for example you're going to search for gold xau usd you realize that gold will not be found among the forex space because gold is actually not a forex space actually a cfd right so you can see that there's there's a list of plenty um um, um gold right but mostly impo most importantly i like you to choose mostly the oanda or the forex.com so i like to use the the um oanda one so you just click on oanda and then it adds it up over here can you guys see it has been added over here so let's say you love gbp usd gbp usd you're going to click on um the oanda one right you click on it and then it's being added gbp usd is being added now let's say that you want to add another pair you want to keep adding more pairs right so you just come to the um the forex section and then you just keep adding so gbp um aud card you just click on add um card jpy you just click on add um nzd jpy you just click on add and then the list goes on so for just for the sake that i don't want this video to be so long i'm just going to shorten it to these pairs right so now um we can see that um xausd this is how the chart looks over here right ad usd this is how the chart looks over here now one more thing we are going to do right now understand that um when trading the forex market we just want to make things very easy for us all right so when you come to the daily time frame over here you click on this d and then you you really want to have things really easy for you so for example maybe with your strategy you work a lot with the daily time frame the four hour the one hour and the 15 minutes what you're going to do is that you come to scroll down and then click on the star the star simply means add to favorite so you're going to click on the daily the four hour the one hour and then the 15 minutes time frame. What this does is that it gives you the chance of just clicking on 15 minutes without having to click on this drop down arrow and then look for 15 minutes. So it makes our work really easy, all right? And also, um, one of the tools over here is what? We have the trend line tool. The trend line tool allows you to draw a trend line from one point to what another let's say you don't like the color of your trend line you can just double click on it and then change the color over here to whichever suits you best all right maybe you like yellow you like green whatever you just click on okay all right so now let's talk about another tool we have the arrow tool the arrow tool maybe you just want to use to mark up a zone in that area right and then maybe um I, I hardly use any of this so the horizontal ray line is just like maybe a line to mark up zones in the market as well and then also let's see whether there's anything necessary here okay so the horizontal ray line is used to mark up psychological levels as well so maybe you want to mark up a psychological level on the daily perspective so for example um, this is the daily time frame you want to mark up a key level um, maybe around this zone right so you realize that price is bouncing through of this level so this is more of like a key zone right that's how to use the horizontal line and then let's talk about um the fibonacci retracement tool will come into that in another video guys we'll come into that in another video and then um let's talk about the basic things so the brush tool maybe you just want to show the direction of price going the highlighter tool maybe you want to mark up a zone in the market 
you want to mark up zones in the market you want to mark up zones in the market is very important and the rectangle tool is just to also draw zones in the market as well right so for example you know price is in the key zone you can mark up your zone like this all right and then let's talk about the circle tool it's also basically more of like a markup area and then uh, let's look at more the path tool is just for illustrations so for example you are able to yeah yeah making an illustration oh price moved this point this point this point this point this point right so this is more of like um, a path tool it's it, very, it comes in very handy especially if you are teaching right and most of these i hardly do not use them a text tool we're going to use this to maybe indicate price um in the market maybe you want to show that this is maybe sell zone or something and then uh, now the most important things let's talk about for example maybe you want to take a short opportunity right maybe you want to tell the market want to sell from a particular point you click on what so we are going to favorite this as well so short and then what long right so next time when we come on the chart we don't have to now come and click here we're going to see that it's being added over here so let's add the tools that we rarely use i mean we often use sorry so I, let's say i use the trend line a lot i use the arrow tool a lot i use the horizontal um, ray a lot i use the horizontal line a lot and then let's come to the um uh, maybe the highlighter tool so you're going to see that everything is going to be added over here so let's say i want to short my position right so you click on short and then let's say we are shorting from this point to this point and then we are going to watch how price is going to what move so this is how to know that what we are shorting and let's say we want to buy we're going to click from maybe this point to this point right and then we are going to be what watching how price moves so um price is going to be moving if it goes in your favor price is going to be it means that we are in blues we are in profit and then if you are buying it means that what when price is moving in this direction it means that what you are in profit so this is just a very simple um basic um how do i call it tutorial on how to use trading view if there's something i missed out please let me know in the comment section and i'll be willing to do more videos on trading views and i forgot to say i'm organizing a sniper entry strategy where i teach how i trade the gold markets you guys know how we've been killing it in the gold market right killing it back to back to back in the community so if you're not part of my community make sure to join my community over here or the link in the description box or in the comment section you're going to find a link to my telegram community and if you also want to subscribe to the coming up session that i have where i'm going to teach you my strategy on gold make sure to send me a message at Delatrade on telegram so i'll see you guys in the next episode peace out